Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. So I'm talking about some controversy and some drama which has appeared over the last few days. And that's something I almost never do on this channel for three main reasons, really. Four main reasons. First of all, it's not very good content. I've had to re-record this a few times because why would you watch? Yes. Um, but for two, there's a power imbalance when it comes to me talking about criticism against me in most cases, because generally when someone criticizes me, they're an ordinary person. I mean, I'm an ordinary person as well, but I do have a platform. I've got followers. I've got a community, which thank you, by the way, is very, very protective. And in the past, I've come down on somebody and the community has followed me in a way that was unexpected. That's not your fault. That's my fault for not recognizing, you know, the power imbalances. And ever since a couple of years ago, a few years ago, really, when I went through some personal stuff, I've had the mantra that I don't want to make somebody's life significantly worse, like their real life over internet drama. So generally, I try to ignore it. And there's also the fact that a lot of the criticism against me is in good faith and makes me a better person. And there's an element of that in today's video as well. But the third, I think third reason I don't cover this type of content usually is because I don't want to be one of those channels. I'm not a drama channel. I don't really have beefs. There are people don't don't like me, but I mean, that's true of every single person in the world. I try to make not just this channel, but all my channels, my hockey channel, my other sports channels. I imagine them as you're talking to a friend who's knowledgeable about a topic. Sometimes I'm giving you my opinion. Sometimes I'm trying to teach you about something, but all my videos are like that. They're generally unscripted. It's how I feel about something, whether it's the lore of a ship or my reaction to new content. That's what I want you to come here for, not for BS and not for drama. Although, yeah, I've definitely at times made those videos. The fourth reason is because some of the people that don't like you just don't like you. The criticism is not always in good faith. And generally, there's no purpose in engaging with that. And as you grow on YouTube or really as you gain notoriety in any sense, I think you learn that it's not super healthy to engage with that all the time. That's not really, I think, most of the criticism that we're talking about today. So what am I talking about? Well, a few days ago, I released a video on Star Wars Outlaws. It was titled, Fans Are Pissed at Star Wars Outlaws. The thumbnail was a photo of K Vess. You can watch the video, I'll link to it down below, but it was about generally what I think are the bullshit monetization practices being utilized by Ubisoft in the new game. That was a really big news story last week. Uh, arguably the biggest gaming news story. Anyway, the criticism, which was, you know, on Reddit, Twitter, some YouTube comments, the usual places was sort of twofold. One of the big tweets, and I want to remind you guys of what I said earlier about how I don't want to bring the community down on anybody, was Eck not flirt with the most debased and horrific segments of fans and we'll actually talk about something substantive challenge impossible. And I gotta say, I was actually really, really surprised to see this criticism and not just the initial tweet, but the, you know, dozens of people who agreed and who were really highly critical of me as a person, you know, lost cause, etc., etc. And I guess I was surprised because I've put out 2,000 videos on this channel almost. I've put out 1,000 videos on the X Clips channel, many of those made by Charlie or Zach. But to me, I've always been pretty clear about the type of person I am. You won't find in those 2,000 videos on my channel me digging into culture war nonsense or parroting, you know, the same talking points. You know, I don't like Star Wars sometimes and I disagree with fan takes, but I'm a pretty big fan of people, you know? If you're confused about why there's even controversy, well, as there was this, you know, general and massive backlash against Ubisoft, there was also, and maybe you'll take issue with this characterization, a much smaller and more niche backlash, mostly on Twitter, also somewhat on YouTube, against Ubisoft for apparently making k -Vess ugly. I actually addressed this 30 seconds or so into the video. I said, I called it ridiculous. I'll say that again now. Now, she's got, you know, an 80s haircut, I guess, and some of the facial animations are ugly, but she's not ugly. Uh, I don't know. I think that's kind of a strange argument, not just because she's not, but because what's the point? But anyway, I had the best intentions when making the video, as I think I do with most of my videos, if not all of them. But I do have to take some responsibility, and we'll get to that. But I'm not going to roll over because I do think that tweet I mentioned earlier and a lot of the criticism against me is frankly unfair. And I don't want pity because every single YouTuber who gets my size gets unfair criticism. And I think most of this is at least rooted in good faith. So why did I choose the KVS thumbnail? Well, 
it's pretty simple. YouTube suggested it. Why did YouTube suggest it? Well, if you look at my thumbnails on YouTube, you'll notice one thing in particular, especially when you compare to my thumbnails from, say, when I started my career. I don't use text, almost never. It's just generally an image pulled straight from the video. And the reason for that is the majority of people now, and I'm not exaggerating, actually the majority watch YouTube on a small device, whether it's a phone or a tablet. Looking at my analytics for the past year, it's it's over 50% of people. You've got a small screen, you've got lots of other videos. I want you to click mine. I want you to easily tell generally what the video is about. So I always just include a very bright, readable image so you at least generally know the topic of what I'm going to be talking about. YouTube auto-selected this, and I did actually go in and crop it and choose a slightly different angle because it was a bright image with a clear subject that was easily readable even from far away and on a very small screen. The second aspect was I wanted something that would easily identify the video as being about Star Wars Outlaws. So I chose KVS. In my opinion, she's pretty much the only symbol immediately identifiable to the game. Now, I'm not going to totally let myself off the hook and we'll come back to that. And in hindsight, there are things I could have done differently. Someone pointed out a good image of Jabba I probably could have used. That might have been good. I think if I were doing it again, I would add a money symbol in that blank space to her left. But I think using KVS in this case was the right decision. And I don't know. When I decided to do it, my thought was, well, one controversy is massive. The other is pretty small. One's been written about in IGN, the New York Times, you know, Forbes. It, it honestly wasn't my intention to clickbait another topic. And it certainly wasn't my intention to, you know, flirt with the most debased and horrific segments of the fandom. And I don't do that generally. Like, the idea that this is something that I'm always doing is, it's strange to me. But I do need to take some personal responsibility. And again, we'll come back to that. I just, I don't want you to think as you're watching this video that I don't recognize I've made mistakes along the way because I have. Like, obviously I have with this video. Obviously there was a mistake here because there were other people who said they thought this was, you know, about the KVS face thing. And yeah, I definitely see that. I guess one of the mistakes I also make is assuming the people that see my video are going to be familiar with my content and know the kind of stuff I make when obviously that's not the case. A lot of people will just, you know, see the video on browse or they'll see a screenshot on Twitter. They won't see that two videos ago when I was moving, I had Zach step in to cover Star Wars Outlaws and the title was, at least for a time, this looks phenomenal. I changed that, by the way, because I was a little less hot on it and I didn't want a title, which wholly misses my view being on the channel, even though Zach signed off on it himself. And, you know, it was Zach's voice and clearly not my opinion still. So I'll honestly say it wasn't intended to be clickbait. I understand where people are coming from, but I wouldn't make this video, I guess, if it didn't bother me. Like, it wasn't the initial tweet, which, again, I think is unfair, but I at least understand. It was a lot of the comments, like, he knows exactly what he's doing. It's very very sad to see or that I've been a lost cause from a, for a minute, unfortunately. Like that hurts me because these are people I think who I represent. Um, people that I know certainly would like me if we had a conversation, I think would probably like me if they could somehow, you know, get the entirety of my video library digitized and inserted into their head. I think they would see that I've never really said anything hateful on this channel. I've never played into that. I don't think I've ever been that person. Have I been negative? Yes, many times. Like, there's a lot of the new Star Wars that I just haven't liked. There's a lot that I have loved. Like, I've been, you know, pro Bad Batch every episode, every week for three seasons now. I liked Ahsoka, except for maybe the last episode. I even liked the Book of Boba Fett some of the times. I love, unapologetically love, Star Wars Rebels. But going back to the purpose and designs of the channel, it's meant to be me, you know, a full grown man giving you my opinions on things. And yeah, I'll feel differently about some media than other media that's being an adult. And I guess I understand why some people make the connection, but the negativity isn't for negativity's sake. I'm not negative because I want to get a certain audience or anything like that. I'm negative because it's how I generally feel about some things, and there are elements that really bother me. Like, it's a bit of a meme at how much I've ripped on the Battle of Exegol because I hate it. I, I really just hate it. It's such a missed opportunity, and there are elements that I keep wanting to talk about, or I mean, 
At least I did in the years after the movie came out. It's like the Halo show. I hate the Halo show because it's such a missed opportunity for what could have been great and what could have gotten so many fans into Halo. But Halo doesn't have that same weird like political implication of disliking something. You don't ordinarily get called a chud for, you know, ripping on the Halo show. I do often for my Star Wars content, you know, the same day I'm being called a shill somewhere else. And yeah, part of that is just the reality of being a relatively large YouTuber, but it does, it does bother me. And again, I know I, I, it shouldn't, but it does. I try to be a loving person. Like, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know what else there is to say. It's, it's, I think the evidence is in my work, but again, it's partially on me for expecting someone to know that. And I don't know. There's also sort of the implication that because my videos cater to certain people that we all share the same beliefs. I think that two Eckhart's Ladder subscribers could feel pretty much different differently about everything. They could probably hate each other, but still like my content, whether about lore, whether reviews, whatever else. And maybe that's on me, I guess. But I also signed up to be a Star Wars channel at the end of the day. I find, you know, the general state of online discourse completely untenable. I don't think that going out of my way to become a political channel would do anything but give me extreme anxiety. I let myself bleed into my content. I think, again, pretty clear where I stand. To those who know me, and at least, and that's where I do need to take some personal responsibility. Because it's hard to walk the line between making content that's clickable and not clickbaity. And there have been times where I've failed. Arguably, I failed with the Star Wars Outlaws thing by not being specific enough and not cognizant of the other discourse, or at least the magnitude of the other discourse. I was, again, pretty surprised by the reaction here. And it sucks to, you know, disappoint people you think would like you, as I said. And there are a lot of people who complain about my titles being too vague. Um, And I get it. I really do. And if you don't like it, you know, I get that as well. But my approach is that I want to have you know enough about what I'm talking about without spoiling everything exactly. And my general principle is that if you click on my video, I do not want you to be disappointed. And I do see that as the difference between something that's clickbait and something that's clickable. I want my title to be enticing. I want there to be a bit of mystery and I want you to click, but I don't want you to click and be annoyed that you clicked afterwards. I don't want you to click and feel like you were misled or lied to. And there are probably cases where some of you have felt that way. And maybe that was the case with the Outlaws video and I need to be more careful. But like my title, Damn the Halo Show is still brutal LMAO. That's funny and it was a funny video and there were a lot of criticisms. Is that really more misleading than Halo season two review or the video why this is massive that's a title that would really annoy a lot of people and again i understand that but generally when you see the combination of the thumbnail and the title you should get a pretty good idea of what i'm talking about and be able to make an informed decision of whether you want to watch or not. And I guess that is going to be the test that I move forward. With my title and my thumbnail, can you as the viewer make an informed decision of whether you want to watch the video or not? Generally, I think that's what I have been doing, but I will try to be more careful. I don't agree with the idea that I've been trying to capture a specific audience and I'm not going to apologize for being negative. If negativity brings certain people that you don't like into my community, I mean, that's unfortunate, but it's my opinion. I put a video out called I'm completely over the High Republic and I am. And the truth is there are people who are completely over the High Republic for very different reasons. And I feel comfortable letting my words stand for the type of person that I am. But I'll be more careful because there are people who have reasons for feeling a certain way about me. There are people who think that I'm a certain way and that thought didn't magically appear in their head. Some of it may have been from, I think, posts like this on Twitter, which are a bit unfair, but other times it's got to be on me. And I'm going to try to be more careful with my titles, but I am also going to play the YouTube game, you know, or really just the game generally. And I also don't agree that my content has like fundamentally changed as well. There are definitely certain series or types of videos which you know, ebb and flow in upload frequency. Like I had a really big Clone Wars, I guess, season like a few months ago where it was all lore videos every day. Other times I'm big on news. Right now I'm continually trying to experiment with different things and yeah, so... A very rambly video. Um, yeah, why not end it like that? Again, acknowledging, no, I haven't been a perfect person. Certainly not. Um, and there are issues, and I understand why people don't like me. And I think that's okay, even healthy, because this criticism has been helpful. I don't agree with all of it. If you've given up on my videos or whatever else, and 
you know, the titles or whatever our reason why, I'll let me know and I'll try to take your feedback into consideration. But I feel like I've been mostly a pretty honest person. Um, it's been a weird time, I think, for Star Wars YouTube generally. And you guys may not know this, but I've got other channels as well. I've got a hockey channel, which arguably more successful now, which is crazy because it only started last season. Um, and that has taken some of the pressure off me a little bit to, you know, feel like I've got to upload every day here. And I thought that was a good thing because I have a lot of videos now where I just talk about things that I'm passionate about. But obviously that's not quite worth working for everyone, so we'll see. I will end with one final thought. I've seen some people defend me, say, he's got three kids, you know, let him get away with whatever, let him do whatever. I appreciate those people in a way for coming to my defense and recognizing, you know, it's not just kids, I also have employees as well, but I don't see having personal responsibilities as any sort of allowance to do whatever you want. Like, having children doesn't mean you can make content however you want, however unethical or dishonest. And that's not how I operate. That's not how I feel. And I'm also doing fine. I'm, I'm doing quite well. Um, YouTube is stressful, but I'm certainly not in emergency land. But uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got this far, let me know. See you next time. Bye-bye.